द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट स्टील वायर ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया 0.5 पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर स्क्वेर इज हेल्ड बिटवीन टू फिक्सड सपोर्ट इफ द वायर इज जस्ट टॉट एट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड डिटरमाइन द टेंशन वेन द टेम्परेचर फॉल्स टू जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड द क्वेश्चन ऑफ लीनियर एक्सपेंशन ऑफ स्टील इज गिवेन वन पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन टू फोर ऑफ माइनस फाइव एट डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड इट्स यंग्स मॉड्यूलस इज गिवेन टू पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू फोर ऑफ इलेवन न्यूटन बाई मीटर स्क्वायर so first of all given area equal to 0.5 mm square but here all are in si units so that's why i want to convert into meters 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter square so that is the area and given coefficient of linear expansion of steel is given 1.2 into 10 to the power of minus 5 per degree centigrade initial temperature that is 20 degree centigrade finally the temperature falls to 0 degree centigrade So here, rise in temperature delta T equal to 20 degrees centigrade. Given Young's modulus is equal to 2.0 into 10 to the power of 11 newton by meter square. But here, Young's modulus means what is that stress by strain. So what is the stress formula? Force by area. Force is nothing but here tension divided by area. And here strain that is change in length by original length. That is delta L by L is equal to delta L means what is that? Length into alpha into delta t divided by L. L L cancel remaining alpha into delta t. So here, first of all, I will take this Young's modulus. Young's modulus y is equal to stress divided by strain. So Young's modulus y is equal to what is meant by the stress here? Tension divided by area divided by delta L divided by L. So Young's modulus is equal to tension divided by area divided by this one completely I wrote like this here alpha into delta t. So here Young's modulus y is equal to tension divided by Area into alpha into delta t. Now I want to find the tension. From this formula, I am writing here tension T is equal to Young's modulus into area into alpha into delta t. So what is the Young's modulus here? Two point zero into ten to the power of eleven into area zero point five into ten to the power of minus six. Into alpha 1.2 into 10 to the power of minus 5 into rise in temperature. That way we take as 20. So 10 to the power of 11. These two minus 11. So cancel 2 into 0.5. That I will write as 5 by 10 into 12 by 10 into 20. 0 0 cancel. 2 fives are 10. 10 by 10 becomes 1 into 12 into 2. So multiplication you are getting twenty four newtons. This is the solution for question number twenty eight.